No, no, no. I said flat toroidal construct, not a sphere, and there's a reason for that. Here's a map of our world, expanded outward. Now let's say you're traveling it in the horizontal direction. You're traveling like that. If you start over here, and you loop to there, then you will, in fact, end up back where you started. But what if you travel in the vertical direction? Well, if you travel north, you'll end up at the North Pole. So that means you loop back around and... Wait a minute, that's the South Pole! Earth doesn't loop the same way in that direction. If you travel vertically and you get to the North Pole around here, you start looping back around here. And so you kind of do like this around the Earth. That's how motion works on a sphere. That's not how a lot of scientists think that the universe is shaped. Because again, the universe is shaped such that if you go off in any one direction, you just eventually loop around linearly to your original direction. It's a flat, toroidal construct. Or such is the most popular hypothesis. If Earth were shaped like a torus, it would be shaped like this. Like a big donut. There is no north and south pole on the torus. If you travel far enough in one direction, you get to the pole, which is the inside here, and then you loop around and come back. You loop linearly in this direction, and you loop linearly in this direction. And remember, that's just two-dimensional. We're just considering that as if we were on the surface of this object. The hypothesis is that space is toroidal in all dimensions. Travel far enough on the x-axis, and you come back to where you started. Travel far enough on the y-axis, and you come back to where you started. Travel far enough on the z-axis, and you come back to where you started. And in fact, some scientists believe that if you travel far enough on the fourth dimensional axis, on time, you come back to where you started. And if the universe were toroidal in that way, the idea is that would apply for any dimensionality that you have. Any direction you could come up with, you could go in that direction and come back to where you started. That's what being a flat toroidal construct in all dimensions means. Though, practically, it only matters in the three dimensions that we exist in. When we're talking about, you know, physical locational space, that is. You want to start talking to string theorists and their 10, 11, 26 dimensions? That, that's a whole other bag of words. But having these properties is important for a couple reasons. Number one, it means the universe is non-infinite, and right now, it seems as if infinity does not exist in the physical world. Infinity is a concept, but does not exist physically. And two, it fits the pattern of expansion we're seeing. Not to mention, generally fits the laws of space and location that we have. So yeah, this is our best fit hypothesis right now. Though others do exist.